I, I got in touch with NDC, NCDC myself that, okay, I want to do this for them because I know that a lot of, I've got a lot of fans and people will listen to me so that I can get verified news, verified information. So I think this is the best time that we can give back to the society, we can give back to our fans. You know, it's not, everything is not about money. How many people am I going to give money to? I think giving them the best information, verified information, this is the best time I can give to my fans so that I can get verified news, verified information. So I think this is the best time that we can give back to the society, we can give back to our fans. You know, it's not, everything is not about money. How many people am I going to give money to? I think giving them the best information, verified information, this is the best time I can give to my fans. Yeah, but you, you've also quite, done quite a bit besides just sharing information. I know you did something recently in Oshun State. Can you help us just take us through what happened there? It's not only Oshun State. I did in Obu State, that's Abelkut. I did in Kwara State, in Lori. I did in Oyo State, in Badon. We did, I did twice in Lagos, like I did in Lagos, around Lagos, and I did in Ibafo. Then I did in Kano. I just feel, you know, we don't have to wait for our Messiah. We can actually be our own, our own Messiah. And I feel that's just part of the little way which I can reach out to people since I have little resources with me. So, But let's, let's go back to you now and, and, you know, what you do for a living, which is, of course, acting and entertainment. And, you know, several jobs and you just, everybody's just locked down like we know. And the entire world is basically shut down at this point. How do you see this affecting, you know, the business that you do going forward? Yeah, it's really affecting. It's not easy, but what are we going to do? Um, my movie was supposed to be in cinema two days ago. That's on the 3rd of April. I had to cancel my premiere movie. We already sold Ashwere B. I was even going to bring you Ashwere B. <laughs> you know, so we, we had to cancel everything. And it's just, it's, it's a whole lot of investment. I've invested a lot. And so, but what are we going to do? Safety first. It's when you are safe, when you're okay, when you're alive, that's when you can spend money. That's when you can work. You understand? Yoruba will say something. They will say, Emi she, omu do emi en you know. That means you can still do a lot of job. Even when we don't work now, we're still going to work. With it? Yeah, um, a little bit, because I know the world will never be the same again. But I just hope it's going to be in a positive way. Because right now, there is nobody that can tell you what is going to happen next. The same way we didn't see this coming. So there's nobody that's going to say what's going to happen next. So I'm a little bit scared, but it's 50-50 because it's not just about me alone or my family alone. It's, it's about the whole world. So obviously, um, it's just 50-50, but we'll get through. We'll get through. Mentioned there about you know using your platform and you know contacting the NCDC so that you can share verified information and that's one thing that a lot of people have complained about with fake news in this time. I mean we're all on WhatsApp. We've seen all of these broadcasts that keep flying every day about you know what is and what is not. You know, you are quite social media savvy. Some of these, I'm sure you've seen a lot of things that have worried you. And how do you handle like this false information when it gets to you? That's, that was the main reason why I reached out to NCDC myself. I was the one that reached out to them myself. I told them that, okay, yeah, because I realized that um, in more info, fake informations are more. So I'm like, okay, I sent a message to Denola Gray because I saw it on his page. So he told someone who is Dr. Kyle. So Dr. K now reached out to me because I told them I'm interested. All they need to do is send me verified information and let me put it on my page. You understand that's it doesn't cost me anything because i know that's the only thing i can give to my fans and people and nigerians in general you know so i think through my page and few other people and a lot of celebrities are really doing a lot so i think we're trying our best to cop the fake news and you know if there's this there's, we can actually do ours this we can't do much so we can only do what we can do has told us to remain at home uh, at least for another week for now. We don't know if it's going to be extended. Have you seen that people have obeyed that? I mean, people around you, maybe your estate, people you live with. Um, how, how strong has this stay at home um, been for people around you? Um, people are, around people around me are really obeying because you can't even be around me and not listen and not obey because of the fact that I'm, I'm one of the people putting information out there. You have to listen. And people around me, but you know, there's little you can you can only talk to people. Do you understand that? Okay, don't do this, do this. But in my estate, yes, you can't even. If anybody is coming to look for you, people, people nobody is even coming. People are there. Everybody's indoor. So I can say in my estate around me. Okay, yes, 
we are really, really, really hoping and we are listening to the instruction and we are following the instructions very well. The medicine as a rule, yeah. Well, let's go back to Tony now. Um, Tony Abraham, who's of course joining us, why she's uh, safely <laughs> locked up at home. I, I wanted to find out. I mean, the Lagos State government has, uh, you know, done quite a bit with regards to giving out, you know, food materials and relief materials to to Lagosians, and um, a lot of people have had mixed reactions to that. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, with regards to doing that and what exactly has been done, like the number of things or the kinds of foods that we're giving to people. Um, I really do not know about it, but the little I've seen on social media, I saw a lot of people, I think they got the food, but they said it wasn't enough. But I really do not know much about it. I, really did. I only saw it, I knew that um, our governor said he was going to give out food to people. And I saw on people, I saw on social media, I saw a lot of people got the food, I saw some people were complaining. But you know, it's always like that. When even when you give things, people there are people that will complain. There are people that will appreciate. So it's always like that. But I, I, I don't really know much about it. You have over four million followers on social media, so I'm sure you get quite a barrage of messages of requests. So you kind of know what Nigerians are feeling right now. Um, I can't imagine what your DMs or your page is like. You know, so how do you handle that? So like two days ago. On my Twitter page, I'm like, God, oh, to sue me, like, I'm tired. Once I tweet like this, the next thing is account. Tony, we are hungry. I've not eaten since day before yesterday. I've not eaten since three years ago, even on my Instagram page. But fine, apart from the ones I'm doing in states, I've been able to send some few things to some people. But they need to understand I can't do everything alone. I can only do little. You understand? But it's not easy. And I understand, you know, some people... It is easy for people like us because we have people we can call on them. But there are some people don't even have anyone they will call on. Yeah. You understand? So it's not easy. And some people, what they do is they live on daily basis. Do you understand? They live on daily basis. Whatever they make, that's what they, they you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not really easy, which I understand. But it's better for us to be safe. It's better for us to be safe. It's better for us to be alive. So we know that we'll scale through. But I just feel we just need to adapt a little bit to this. That's, that's actually been the fear for a lot of people because as much as people understand the need for this, I mean, most people have said that Nigeria is not financially equipped to handle a stay at home that's this long. You know, people are worried, are we going to be able to do another week? And there's already insinuations that they might extend it for even another week again. Um, so I don't know, how are you feeling about, you know, the Nigerian situation? We are not a country that, you know, like you said, can last that long without working on a daily basis. How do I feel about what? about this, the lockdown probably being extended even and how Nigerians will be able to cope with it. You know, the thing is, I think the government know better than us and we have to listen to them. I have a lot of friends outside the country. I have a lot of doctor friends. You know, my brother, you know, is a doctor and he's a doctor in Canada. You see all those things, I think we are not really taking this COVID-19. We're not taking it seriously. And I think it's a very serious thing. Trust me, it is. So it's just better. I, I think I have to beg everybody, my beg everybody. We just have to 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 cope. We have to manage whatever. So sometimes it's even better you do one on one than doing one on one. Maybe your meal. It's better for us to just manage. Let us scale through. It's just for the meantime. We have to manage. We won't bear everybody. Need. We just have to manage. It's better to be alive. If we are not alive, because this thing is a terrible thing. It's not about you or your family alone or yourself alone. It's about everybody. So whatever you do, the decision you make would affect everybody. So I'm begging on everybody, let's just adapt. I know it's not easy. I know it's difficult. It's not easy for me as well. But I feel we should just adapt. We should try. 